Well, what do you do for an encore? How many times you have been asked that question, Jay? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know if this is if there really can be an encore. Nope. I think this has got to be. Uh, it's got to be a new season, next season, you know. And uh, we have to be focused on this season and trying to be the best team we can be. What have you read anything? I, I, if I were in your place as a coach, I might start reading philosophical stuff writ, written by other leaders of, about how you get people to forget what has happened in the past and all that crap. Have you? Is that true? You know, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me, but I, I really haven't. I, I've, I've read and talked to a lot of people about how to handle the the championship. That's you know, what I mean. What, yeah, yeah. But not the next season because we've always prided ourselves when we didn't have good good seasons. Let's say when we lost in the second round, that we would always pride ourselves on hey, the next season starts and it's uh, it's all about us being the best team we can be by the end of the year. Um, now so, this is a little different. Yeah. Well, but if if you if, if you really believe in saying that when people are criticizing you, then you better believe in saying that when people are giving you uh, some point. props too. Point, yeah. So if you believe in it, you got to stick to it. Well, like I said, the we, lessons learned. Uh, well, you know, it was it, it was tough to win a championship. You know, those six games. So you know, we, everyone here has been through the grind of a college season. You know, even the guys who registered. So everybody's been through the grind. So everybody knows what to expect. But now we just gotta continue to get better each and every day. Like that's that's all we did last year, and, and we were fortunate enough to win. But we know that's gonna that's what's gonna give us the best chance. Yeah, you certainly know Dylan Painter from Hershey, and you're a big man, a six ten guy, mm -hmm. sock feet, who, who with good feet, good hands, who kind of fits into the new way that big men play these days. What have you concentrated on recently in your game that fits into, I guess you'd call yourself a pop four, I, I suppose, that stretch four? Uh, stretch five. Stretch five, yeah. okay. Uh, recently, I've just been working on, like as you said, my footwork and stuff, uh, like defensively mostly, just like guarding ball screens, like because that's what I'm going to have to do this year for this team. Uh, guard like smaller guys and quicker guards, like off switches and stuff. Where do you feel like your role might fit in? This is a tough spot for you. Defending national titleist, you're just trying to fit in, I suppose, wherever they need you, right? Wherever they need me, yeah. Uh, I'll go in there, I'll play hard, I'll just get rebounds, I'll defend ball screens. Like, I don't really care about scoring right now, I just want to do whatever I need to do. But you could down the line, but you're not going to worry about it. No, I'm not, not right now, you can just whatever shoot. they need me to do. You yes. can shoot. You can pop out and shoot shoot the, the jumper, correct? Yes. All right. When it, every once in a while. <laughs> well, it's it's hard to fit yourself in in a team like this that has a lot of guys who can score, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is definitely hard. But like, I'm just here working in practice against them and be, being able to guard these guys in practice, like some of the best guys in the country, is just gonna make it that easier on that much easier on game day. A defensive privilege. A yes. Privilege of defending. Right? Uh huh. Dylan, good luck, man. Thank you. It's Jalen Brunson, and Jalen's going to be running this team this year, I assume. You assume that? That's pretty much the, the uh, size of it? That's what we're going to try. Uh, that's the intent? Yeah, that's the intent. Now, every team has a little bit of its different personality. What are you going to do with your game? What could fans expect that you might show because you're in a, you're in a, a prime role? You, you, were, you were visible last year, but you're going to be the man this year running this team. Well, I think... Um, from the team standpoint, I'm gonna have to be a, a leader, just like Arch was last year. I'm gonna have to be a leader, vocal leader, and I'm just gonna find ways to get the job done. And, uh, things that aren't gonna be pretty, things aren't gonna look you know, too good. But I just know that whatever I do, whatever the team does, I gotta be ready to, or we have to be ready to, um, you know, do 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 the dirty work, and I'll be ready to do things that other teams aren't gonna do. Now, uh, you're. Do you remember any uh, any? Video? Have you seen any video of your dad and, and the Temple teams mm -hmm. back then? Because yep. they did a lot of dirty work. Yeah, they. Eddie yeah. Jones, Aaron McKee. Yep. Um, dad, he still. Whenever he's home, he still um, pulls up the videos from the um, several games. I remember watching those games even to this day. And did you take anything from that when you watched them when you were a little kid, or did you not understand what it meant? Um, I just, I took a lot from it. I think. Um, just seeing like my dad play at a high level, he was, he played with great pace, and, uh, just the way he did things, the way he led his teammates, and um, I took a lot. Because you remind me of him, yeah. you know the way you play. You play yeah. with a calm and a control. Yeah, yeah it yeah. reminds me of a John Cheney guard actually, and you never even. <laughs> I don't know if you've met John. Yeah, Cheney. yeah, I met I met him. I met him. I haven't seen him in a couple of years, yeah. but I met him. But um, I, I mean, just watching those videos, it kind of just uh, modeled my game after my dad. 
not necessarily the scoring part or like the you know, the fancy plays and stuff, but just the way he controlled the game, the way he led his team. That's the most important yeah. thing. Good luck, Jalen. Thank you. This, in a, w a lot of ways, is the hero of Houston, Phil Booth. How, did you did you visualize that game? I know you want to get away from it and get to this season, but I got it one just once. Did you visualize that game in retrospect, uh, or did it just happen to you? It just happened. I definitely wasn't uh, focused on. That. I was just focusing on uh, North Carolina, trying to do anything to help help beat them, and uh, just happened to have a, a pretty good game along that. But I was definitely focused on how, how good they were offensively and good, how good defensively they were playing at that time. But I believe it was 22 points. Yeah, I think I think it was 20, 20. I think 20 points. Yeah, and that just happened. So, yeah. have you readjusted your role at all based on that one game, or do you just have to reset and say this is certain things that the team needs me to do, and I'm going to yeah. do, or, uh, or which? Definitely reset. Uh, definitely, um, it's it's a whole new year, whole different team, uh, it's a completely different, completely different approach we're taking. Uh, so. Just whatever team needs uh, at the time is what I'm willing to do. So no different role change off that game. Just just more expected as, a, as an older guy in the program. And in what way? A more of a leadership role. Uh, we're a younger team. You know, a couple young guys coming in. And uh, it's more of a leadership role as a junior now. A lot of things are going to be expected. You know, Arch is gone too. So yeah, puts a lot more on me and Jalen to do as a point you guard. And Jaylen, and so, right. right. So yeah. that's kind of important too. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Good luck. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.